Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create dynamic reverb in Reaper. I have a project in front of me here with a vocal, and I want to add some reverb to it. Let's hear it now. As you can tell, it's completely dry. Let's hear it in solo. So rather than adding just regular reverb, I want to create dynamic reverb, which is the process of having the reverb level change based on if the singer is singing or not. So in the spaces, the reverb will be louder compared to the reverb level while she's singing. So let's go to the effects on this track. There's already a compressor and an EQ. And let's add a reverb. We'll go to the Reaper effects and choose Reverbate. And this is gonna work with any reverb you have. I'm just choosing this one because I know you have it and it works pretty well. Let's double click it. I'm gonna choose a preset I saved earlier right down here which is basically a really big room with very little dampening. So it's pretty bright. Let's bring up the wet signal so we could hear it. It's quite big. And like I said, I want it to be louder on the spaces compared to when she's singing. So let's find the two different reverb levels we want to use, when she sings and in the spaces between the phrases. Let's start with the normal level. Right there feels good for the normal level. Let's find the reverb level for the spaces. Right about 9 dB will work for the spaces. So we'll start off by first touching this parameter. Then we'll go to the menu and notice the last touched parameter is the wet knob. So then we're gonna choose parameter modulation, which is gonna modulate this parameter. And that opens up this dialog where we could do that. We're going to choose audio control signal. So the audio coming in is going to control the reverb level. So we'll choose right here channels one and two, or left and right. So it's going to be triggered by the vocal. And if we notice, the level down here dropped all the way. So we should readjust the baseline to get to that same level, about minus nine, right about there. So that's the baseline or where it's going to start. Then we're going to change the direction to be negative because we want the reverb level to drop down when the signal comes in or the vocal. So we want this to move in the negative direction. Then we'll adjust the minimum volume, which is just the range we have to adjust the modulation. If we look over here, this red dot, we want to get the vocal to average about there. Right now, it's too low. Let's bring this down. Right about there looks good. Next, we're gonna adjust the strength. At 100%, it's bringing the level down way too much. We want it to be brought down to about 16 dB. So we can adjust the strength to do that. With it off, it doesn't bring it down at all. Ooh, la, 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 la. So the higher we bring this, the more it brings it down. Ooh, la, 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 la. Ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, la, la, la. 
That looks pretty good right there. But if you notice, it's taking a bit long for it to jump up to the level. So we can readjust that with the release. The attack time decides how quickly it reacts going down, and the release decides how quick it reacts going up. So let's make it a bit faster. But notice, changing the release also changes the strength. So we should readjust this after we change the release. That looks perfect. It's coming down to about 16 dB and jumping back to 9 dB in the gaps. Let's hear it in the track. It's a pretty dramatic effect. And if you want to make it more subtle, just readjust the baseline to be lower and readjust the strength to get the setting to be more subtle. And if you want to save this so you can use it again, just click on the effect, right click. Go to Effects Chains and save selected effects as Chain. Let's name it Dynamic Reverb. And now, if you want to use that effect again, just double click over here, go to Effects Chains and choose it right here. And that opens it back up exactly how we left it. So that's pretty much it. That's Dynamic Reverb in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.